The Christian church has long used the noun trinity and the adjective triune in reference to the Bible's teaching about God. Tri comes from the Latin word for three, un comes from the Latin for one. He is a, a three-one God. The Bible is clear and consistent throughout that there is only one true God. So Christianity is a monotheistic religion. The Bible also teaches, most explicitly in the New Testament, that God is also three. Not three gods, but three distinct persons in one God. God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit aren't different manifestations of God. They are distinct from one another. This diagram attempts to illustrate the teaching of the Trinity. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are all the same God, but they aren't each other. If this doesn't make much sense to you, don't feel bad. The teaching of the Trinity is beyond our comprehension. In fact, if you think it's easy to understand, you probably don't understand it. A Christian theologian in the fourth century said that trying to understand the Trinity is like trying to fit an ocean into a cup. It's bigger than we are. There are, are many passages in the Bible where the three persons of the Trinity are side by side. For example, when Jesus sent out his disciples to proclaim the gospel, he told them to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus was baptized, he was standing in the Jordan River, the Holy Spirit came down in the form of a dove, and the Father's voice declared from heaven, This is my Son whom I love. There are three ancient creeds or statements of belief that have been adopted widely in the Christian church. They are the Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed, and the Athanasian Creed. They all date back to the first 500 years after Jesus. What I'd like to point out for now is that fundamental to all of those creeds is the Trinity. The Apostles' and Nicene Creeds both have three main parts. They outline the persons and the work of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Athanasian Creed uses very precise language to confess the Bible's teaching of one God and three persons as clearly as possible.